Here comes a really sweet boat. She's called Water Gypsy. She's a 50 foot cruiser built in uh, 1989 by Southwest Durham. Not entirely sure who fitted her out. I think it was an owner or original owner or anyway, it's, I'm calling it an owner fit out. Steel thickness 1064. She had a full survey in July 2021. The current owners have been living on her since then, but are now off to, um, to Spain to live, so she's coming on the market. Bumble's having a bit of a ride down the back deck. So the paintwork's in nice condition, actually. The well deck's three foot six. There's 720 watts of solar power on the roof there. One of them's on, on top of a decent sized storage box, actually. So paintwork's nice. Last blacked in May 2021. She had six new anodes put on at the same time. Engine was serviced this year in the spring. Nice back deck. Seven feet, seven inches long. Very comfy, actually, perching on these storage lockers. There's uh, mooring chains and landline and windlass in there and that sort of thing. But in this side, it's firewood at the moment. But anyway, nice social space to cruise on. So down we go. She's reverse layout, I suppose. The galley's here. It's um, 7 feet 5 inches long. The worktops are oak block. Head height on the boat's really good. 6 foot 8. This is an Indesit cooker. Full burner gas hob. Oven and grill. Decent sized cupboard under the sink. And under here is more storage. And the electrics are here, that's the MPPT solar charge controller, fuse isolation switch isolation switches. Storage shelves there next to the Aldi boiler. Central heating's this Aldi boiler heated by gas. And the drawer there. And cupboards there. The boat only came to us yesterday, actually, and I have to say they've done a nice and speedy job of emptying her and tidying her up. There's a bell there to summon a cup of tea. And this next area is the saloon, I suppose. Super large couch, sofa, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's very easily big enough as a single bed, the storage underneath it, but it also pulls out and makes into a decent sized double, actually, six foot five inches long, four feet wide. The stove is an Arada solid fuel stove, and there is storage next to it. I called that a cupboard, but uh, you can see how it works. Shelves there, and there's a drawer in here. Really sweet little boat, this. You could make her a very cosy home. There's the view down the saloon. Table there, there's one of the radiators heated by the Aldi. Down the corridor, now from here onwards it's carpeted and painted. The bathroom's been refitted. The shower is over the bath there, it's tiled around the bath. There's a ceramic sink over the uh, cupboard there. The loo's a Thetford cassette. There is a spare cassette on board as well. And there's a little radiator in the bathroom as well. There we go, that's the radiator. And then the bedroom, I'm calling it. There isn't a bed in it. It's open plan at the moment, but this is where you put a, a double bed. This room is... Um, 12 feet long so it's quite generously proportioned completely blank cameras under the floor here there are five underfloor storage compartments there you go brilliant for keeping things chilled of course if there's a bed in here then access to those would need thinking about but chest of drawers here four drawers and a couple of storage units either side of the steps out onto the well deck. The bathroom was five foot six by the way. The water tank is integral, estimated 400 litres. Storage lockers either side of the well deck here and seats. Three 13 kilo gas bottles in there. There's bits and pieces in there. So hot water on the boat, the, the colorifier was brand new in autumn 2022, 70 litres, 
that's heated by the engine there's also an immersion heater on board if you're plugged into the landline two domestic batteries 110 amp hours each and one star so they were all brand new this year lighting is a mixture of halogen and led and i've mentioned the uh, 700 watts of solar There's no inverter on board, so unless you're plugged into landline, it's 12 volt systems. You've just got all the necessary navigation equipment to just turn the key and go. The engine's in here, it's a Isuzu 42 PRM150 gearbox. Engine hours aren't recorded. Drives me insane how many of these tachometers don't actually work. But there we go. Put a man on the moon, but can't count the hours. There we go. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the prize, go to our website, www.rugbyboat.co.uk.